MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Oakland A's and the Tampa Bay Rays. Digging in, Ramon Laureano, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And that misses for ball four, so it's a five pitch walk to get us started here this afternoon. Outfielder Steven Piscotti, the next to hit. Batting 300 for the series, three for 10. 3 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed, strike three. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. The 1 1 home. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder giving chase, and no one will track it down. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Batting four. Coming to the plate now, Matt Olson, And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Adama scoops it up, and he is in there. Here's Chris Davis now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. One one is a cutter that misses two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Line softly toward the hole. One run is scored, and that's through into right field for a base hit, and he's safe. The third baseman. At the plate now, Matt Chapman. And he takes a cold strike, too. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Now batting, Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And there's ball two now. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now a move over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Kiermaier gets his lead at first, nobody out. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 2-1 home is laid off of for ball number three. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The 3-2 pitch is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in, Austin Meadows. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Here's the 1-1. A uh, double play ball to second. Four. And there's out number two. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Renfro. 
change up just off the black and it's two and one. Fouled off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. set for the start of the inning and digging in is the outfielder Chad Pinder one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings and he lays off for a ball two and one on a line that's a base hit batting eight the second base hit so now to the plate, Sheldon Noisy. Still one and two as he fouls it away. From the belt, the pitch. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Get on the ground to third. There's one. And for the second time in two innings here this afternoon, they bounced into a double play. Now at the plate, Austin Allen. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. A 1-1. Misses above the zone for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Grounded back up the middle. Adamas picks it up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. In eight at-bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Set to get his day started, Brendan Lau, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And it's fouled away. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Striding in, Ramon Laureano, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. To two balls and two strikes now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. On the move is Kiermaier. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Digging in, Stephen Piscotti. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And that's the second out. So stepping in, Marcus Semien. 
He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. A 1 1. Swing and a liner. Foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses two and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping up as the shortstop, Willie Adamas. The 2 1 home. is swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now and that's your first out of the inning so the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up the catcher Mike Zanino outside two and one well that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there it's a very effective pitch if you can hit the outside corner of that pitch it's unhittable well above the letters with the fastball that time And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Hits this one hard the other way. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Now back, center fielder. Kevin to the plate now, Kevin Kiermeyer. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. A bouncer to the left side. He's got a hurry to second for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Up next for Tampa Bay. To the plate now for the Rays is the D.H. Jose Martinez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch A.B.'s, Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. To third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Now back, right fielder, Austin. In now, Austin Meadows. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Two down runners at first and second. And a fastball swung on and missed and the side is retired. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The bat, number two. Striding forward now is the D.H., Chris Davis. He singled his last time up. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Another full count pitch home. Hit hard on the ground at first. Throw gets him. Two down. Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And up next, the power hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. 1-1. One, one. To one and two now. Here it comes.
Two runs on two hits and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Chapman swings and this one's hit very well out to left. Renfro retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next it'll be the outfielder, Hunter Renfro. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third, third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Yandy. Yeah. Ball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. No runs, three hits, one error in the ball game for Tampa Bay. He loses him on ball four. Now in the box, Brandon Lowe. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. G-Man Choi the next to hit. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. And that brings up Chad Pinder. He'll start off the fifth in this one. And that misses two and one. Drill down the line. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Now that second base, Sheldon. Noisy. Stepping in now, Sheldon Noisy, and he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Adamez has it, and there's one gone. At the plate, Austin now, Allen. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. The one two to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The second for one. Onto the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Willie Adamas. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two two pitches fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Biscotti is there, one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. A ball and two strikes. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, He'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Chapman's got it. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning.
Diego Castillo takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 63. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Ramon Laureano. Little chopper back to the mound. Adamas brings it in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. The right fielder. Steven. One out, nobody on. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Standing in, Marcus Semyon. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the DH, Jose Martinez. And he fouls this one off. Two and two. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Line towards center field. Loriano is there, and he has it for the first down. So striding forward now, Austin Meadows. Bases are empty, one man at And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth. And that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Chapman has it cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Seventh inning ready to roll, and here comes the first baseman, Matt Olson. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Now batting. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up the big time power bat of right handed hitter Chris Davis. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matt. He almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Hit pretty well out to deep center field. Kiermeyer looks up and off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. At the plate, Chad Pinder. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Striding into the box, Sheldon Noisy. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's throwing a bullet to second base. A fine play, and that ends the inning.
last half of the seventh here and set to go as the third baseman Yandy Diaz it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one popped him up Olson is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning Stepping in, Brandon Lau. No hits to this point. Now the 2 1 pitch. It's a fastball that misses. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Fouled off. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. The back, the first baseman, G -Man Choi. At the plate now, G Man Choi. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Runners on first with one down. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Striding in, Willie Adamas. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 2. Lifted down the line and left. Long run for the left fielder, but this will land untouched. Here's another 1 2. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Another try at 2-2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Colin Poche has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 38. Coming to the plate now, Austin Allen. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A 1 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. One away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ramon Laureano. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the 2 1 pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Shoots this one over to first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. On to first, and there were two down. Now at the plate, Stephen Piscotti. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Hits are now even at four apiece. Fouled away. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. J.B. Wendelkin is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Mike Zanino. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Yeah. 
And it's fouled away. The one two. This is on the ground over to first. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Up next for the Rays, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now here's the pitch. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Jose Martinez is on deck. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. The three, two, one more time. He is swung on and missed, strike three. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. He's working on a one for three thus far. A one one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. The two two one more time. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side and that'll get down for a base hit. Into the box now, Austin Meadows. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Just hung in there on that one. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Set to start the ninth in this one. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. Ready on one and two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Meadows has it, and there's one away. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. One out, nobody on. And it takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Let's see where they throw Olsen on a three and one count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Olsen with a drive out to deep right. And gone. An absolute bomb. Into the box, Chris Davis. The one two is a breaking ball. They can't find the zone, and it's even at two. And a 
pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And that's through for a hit. In now, Matt Chapman pulls this one in the air out to left. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. Digging in now, Chad Pinder. He's two for three thus far. A runner on first with two away. Fastball runs in tight here and it's two and one. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now the payoff pitch home. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Two out with the man at first. Hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. Peter Fairbanks takes over now with two gone now here in the top of inning number nine. Sheldon Noisy. So now to the plate, Sheldon Noisy. Hard hit ball. Caught down there at third. Almost big trouble there, but a wind up stranding two as the side is retired. Lou Trevino, the 6'5 right hander, takes over on the mound. Number 62. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And next will be the imposing power bat, Hunter Renfro. Three two pitch. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Third baseman number two, Yandi Diaz. At the plate, Yandi Diaz got him reaching there, strike two. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder, and everything went with it. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Now batter. Standing in, Brandon Lau. Runner at second here with one man out. Lake making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Popped him up. Chapman in foul ground. Two down. At the plate, G-Man Choi, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the night. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And there's a called strike two, as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. And he fouls this one off. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. And that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Yeah. 
the batter, number one, Gustav Willie Adamas. At the plate now, Willie Adamas. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. The catch is made, and the A's will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The Athletics jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Sean Manaya earns win number seven on the season, striking out 12 in the process. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious athletics. Five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Rays, one run, seven hits, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Our paid attendance at Tropicana Field this afternoon, a sellout of 31,042. The Rays thank you and hope you'll join us again real soon. <laughs>